Steven Universe, a cartoon focusing on a team of alien peacekeepers who adopt a young boy in hopes of training him to become one of them. This show has exploded in popularity due to its relatable characters and decent theme song. If you've seen the show or you're just interested in some trivia, we've got eight amazing facts never before seen on YouTube on Steven Universe. Number one. The main location of the series, Beach City, is based on the seaside town of Trapia, Italy, but adapted for a western theme. Tropia is famous for its unique use of onions, including such inventions as onion ice cream. In fact, this was also the main inspiration behind the character Onion. Number 2 Rebecca Sugar, the creator of Steven Universe, told animation news site Cartoon Brew that this isn't the first time she's tried producing this concept for television. Back in 2001, she worked as a junior writer and concept artist with Michael Train to create a series about three aliens sent to Earth to conquer the planet, but instead decided to defy their own kind in order to protect the human race. It was originally titled Butt Kicking Martians, but as Rebecca recalls, the tech just wasn't there to make the characters look how we wanted. In the end, Nickelodeon producer David Garber offered them a season if they changed the name to Butt Ugly Martians to fit in with the visuals and to emulate the gross out appeal of other popular shows of that year, such as Mega Babies and Super Duper Sumos. Number 3 One member of the Crystal Gems, Pearl, had a radically different design in the pilot for Steven Universe. Art director Kevin Dart looked over the design and told Rebecca Sugar that her attempt to appeal to every minority in one character was simply not going to work. When production started, they chose to scrap a planned character design for an antagonist named Salt and chose to repurpose that design for Pearl. Number 4 The titular character Steven Universe was based on comedian Danny DeVito. Rebecca Sugar wanted to name the character Danny Universe, but felt it sounded too much like Danny Phantom. Number 5 The Spin Dash is a recurring attack in the series. So far only being used by two characters, fans of the series quickly picked up the reference and earlier this year it was confirmed by Rebecca Sugar via Tumblr that the attack is indeed inspired by Beyblade. In her blog post, she mentions how she always used to spin her Beyblade vertically when she was a kid and wanted to replicate that destructive force in animation. Number 6 SPOILER ALERT Ruby and Sapphire, the two gems that make up the fusion character Garnet, were based on the popular video game Sonic and Knuckles for the Sega Mega Drive. This was confirmed where in an interview with Kotaku, Steven Sugar, the background artist for the show, stated he spent an entire week trying to get all the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic and Knuckles. This would explain why Ruby is the hot-headed ruffian that don't chuckle and Sapphire is the fast one. Number 7 the Uncle Grandpa crossover special was created to replace an episode which faced last minute cancellation. The original plan was to introduce a new member of the Crystal Gems, which would act as Steven's little brother. The plot synopsis was leaked by a Cartoon Network intern and reads as follows. Greg is hospitalized while attempting to pass a kidney stone. Suddenly, Calcite is born. Meet Steven's little brother. What mysterious powers could he hold? It's speculated that this episode was cancelled to maintain the all-female gem cast. And finally, number 8. According to feminist news site The Mary Sue, the infamous August hiatus to the production of Steven Universe was because Rebecca Sugar needed to cope with the fact that cis males were watching her show. And that was our list of 8 amazing Steven Universe facts. What did you think? Did any of these blow your mind? And are there any we left out? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible facts.